But the key is that the faster we can get rid of the disease, the sooner we can open up safely. And once we open up safely, then we go back to normal economic activity. Hi everyone, I'm Joaquin Beltran. I'm the creator of Speak Up America, and I'm here with Yanir Baryam. Hi, I'm the president of the New England Complex Systems Institute and the founder of End Coronavirus in order to get rid of this outbreak, which I think we should very much do. So we wanted to share with everyone a bit of the economics perspective during this pandemic. There's a lot of different ideas. There's, you know, different places that are, you know, shutting down or having restrictions and, and people are, are debating well, we should open everything up or, you know, or we should contain um, the virus first. Um, can you give us some insights and perspectives into this debate? Sure. So, first of all, the, the basic idea of what we want should be really understood. We really want to be in a normal state with the economy open and everyone being able to socialize, and, 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 and all of that. And, and so it's very natural for people to say, why don't we just do that? The problem is that the disease is really, uh, is not the kind of disease that people are going to just go, at least many people are not gonna just go to a restaurant. And even the ones that go, they may be taking risks that they didn't really wanna take. But surely the people who, uh, many people are not comfortable with taking risks because there can be severe harm. And, you know, you know it's like playing Russian roulette. So if, if, if people are not willing to do that, then if you say, okay, the governor says, hey, let's open up everything or whatever, it doesn't mean that people are going to do that. And in fact, what, we've, what has been seen over and over again is that the fact that people don't want to go is enough that it's really a limiting of economic activity it doesn't make the economy go well. And the other thing to know is that if we open up with a disease, then the, no matter what level of the disease that you have, it will grow and grow and grow and grow until it causes a lot of destruction. Right. So the trick is to realize that we can get rid of the disease in a short amount of time if we take the strongest possible actions. And we usually we call those lockdowns or stay at home orders or whatever. But the key is that the faster we can get rid of the disease, the sooner we can open up safely. And once we open up safely, then we go back to normal economic activity. So here we have these two kind of choices. Either we act, either we ignore the disease, in which case, well, maybe three, either we ignore the disease and it becomes catastrophic. And we've seen that that doesn't work. Or we have lots of restrictions that hold the value of the outbreak at the same level. And basically that means mostly shutting down the economy and just leaving it the same, the number of cases the same. Or we can act a little bit stronger and then let the disease go away and then open up then without restrictions. And if you think about it for a bit, you realize that if we can get rid of the disease in a short amount of time, then it's always going to be better than holding on to the restrictions for a long time, right? Or letting it sort of you know, infect a lot of people. And we know that that doesn't work. We've seen over and over again, the people that try to ignore the disease, areas that try to ignore the disease doesn't work. Even places that start, the people decide not to do the things that are be, you know, that are possible. Yeah, very true. Yeah, I mean, you've seen that this in, in other countries, right? The, the UK was taking that approach initially and they decided, hey, we can actually do this. We have to Lockdown right. and, and Italy uh, didn't. Italy tried to do it, and right. and in the South, in the U.S., in the West, exactly. they tried to let go, and that didn't work, right? So we know that that doesn't work. So if that doesn't work, then having the restrictions, keeping the virus at the same level, whatever level it is, is already a huge economic cost, and it's almost as much cost as doing a little bit more that will get rid of the disease. So get rid of the disease and then open up to normal. That's really the solution. And it's the solution 
for economics and it's a solution for stopping the disease from harming people. So it all works together so we can all get on board and get rid of this disease. So, so let's talk about the challenge with this in that, you know, um, people can um, um, do this um, through economic support, right? Because, you know, if, if things are locking down, um, then perhaps, you know, people, you know, can't go to work um, and, and they face a whole host of economic challenges, um, paying bills, potentially evictions, right? So um, talk to us a little bit about what economic support needs to take place in order for this type of containment effort uh, to work. So first to sort of preface it, the, the main thing is to understand that this only needs to take about four to six weeks if we really do everything. And maybe you have a little bit more time because you have to be careful for a little bit longer. And so we've already spent all of this time hurting the economy where we could have gotten rid of it in four to six weeks if we just did the right thing the first time around or the next time around, whatever time we do it, we're always just four to six weeks away from getting rid of this disease. So, so that's one part of it. It's not that long if we do it the right way. The second part of it is yes, absolutely. People need help. And so we have to figure out where that help is gonna come from. And there are two ways generally to do that. One is bottom up, mutual aid. We check in with each other and we help each other because we know that people are in trouble, they may need help. And that's super important. We should all be doing that. And the second is government help. And government help has to be making sure that the people who need it and companies who need it get the help they need. But if it's only for four to six weeks, it's not that much. So many places have put lots of money into the economy, but haven't really done it in the way that combines with the strong action that will get rid of it. So then it takes a long time and you have to keep helping and you have to keep doing things and you, you know, run out of trouble with, you know, all the resources. And in the meantime, you know, states and federal governments and so on are running out of money because they're not collecting taxes. And so they say to you, Hey, we can't do anything. But if you just did it the right way in four to six weeks, you can help everyone and everyone can help with mutual aid and with government support, both companies and individuals and really ultimately the companies support is in order to support the workers and to support the owners so that everyone can get through this and then we can get back to normal. I, I think this point is hugely important. You know, um, like you're saying, we could have done this a long time ago. A lot of time has passed by and, you know, people are, are hurting, people are dying, people are sick um, and the economy is getting worse and worse. Uh, as you see people unemployed and people start to be evicted. So you have lawmakers right in front of you, Yanir, and they have the opportunity to address this one more time, right? To get it right this time. What, what do you tell them? I say, look, we're all tired of this. COVID fatigue, no doubt. But we don't want to do this for a long time. So we don't want to do it for a long time, for months and months, and maybe years and years. The answer is, Take a deep breath and say, let's do a reset. Let's do the right thing to get together, set it up and do it. Get to zero. We can do it in four to six weeks and use all of the strategies that we know, do all the tools, you know, the distancing, the mass, the green zone strategy, the, the safe institutions, everything, line them up. Let's go for it. And let's get rid of this. And in the process, make sure that we are in touch with people in the communities so that we help them. And we make sure that everyone can get past this time of crisis because that's what we want. We want to be able to get back to work. Yeah, yeah. Uh, time is of the essence. Um, and, you know, the faster we act, uh, the sooner we can get jobs back, the sooner uh, people will be healthier. Uh, the sooner we can enjoy each other's company, which Absolutely. You know, I miss sorely. <laughs> Absolutely.
Um, so thank you so much, Jean-Air. Um, please go to ncoronavirus.org uh, to get more information and to create a green zone in your community um, and to get us to zero COVID cases. Stay safe. Thank you.